Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to my let's play of Caves of Kurt. So last time we almost died to a snapjaw brute but in the end we didn't. So now we are looking for the entrance to the dungeon in order to find more of this wire. So these things here are terrible. They are young ivory. They just shoot out of the ground and then they kill you. Which is fairly annoying. Alright, so these iron swords I kind of like. Mostly just to take them apart once I have tinkering. But. So these are normally friendly. They're scrap clad hermits, a gnarled hunched form shrouded in layers of twisted sheet metal bound by leather tongs. He's neutral, but here is a guy that's not neutral. Fine wafer, which is food. A knot of bark swollen with moisture and culled from the water vine, the gift of Agraria. Let's take it. We should be... Ooh, there's another one of those brute guys. Ooh, that was dangerous. Uh, he's still fine. That's not good for me. All right, let's see if we can dismember him. He is dismembered. And we chopped off his left arm. So now he's bleeding again, which is great for us. Um, he misses me. And we killed him. So now we gained a level. Level 3, 5 hit points, 74 skill points, 1 mutation point, 1 attribute point. And we won't take any of those things. So let us check if we can do something useful with a point. We could increase our electrical generation, which I like, because then we have six charges. Uh, uh, yeah, so we do 24 damage. So we have one more mutation point. So we could take the antlers or multiple arms. Let's go for multiple arms again. Attribute points. Maybe we should go for toughness this time. 148 skill points. That's not enough for... Um, uh, sorry, dual wielding, unfortunately. So, let's continue in the dungeon. Iron mace. Look at that. More wire, even. We now have 100 feet. And there. More leeches. Here's more. No, I don't. I just want to take it. Yes, thank you. We have 103. Oh, he rusted my wi wire strand. I'm not sure if it still counts as if we have 103. Let's check. So this is three, so she'd, she'd 106. Okay, so the rusting didn't matter. That's good. Yeah, those guys are terrible. They just rushed your equipment. Ooh. Hello there. Snap Joe Warlord. He's average and hostile. Let's get out of here. Um, or at least a little bit. He's not joining us. Should we risk it? I'm going... Ooh, there's also a brute there. I'm going to discharge. So he's injured. And now he's following us. And the brute as well. Um, well, so let's try to dismember him. And that worked. Left hand. So the wrong one again. Wrong hand again, unfortunately. And we dispatched of him. So now we have this stupid brute here. Um, he's got a painted kilted shawl and iron, lo iron longsword. So he's doing a fair amount of damage to us. So let's sprint away. Oops. There you are. He's wounded and now he's dead. So let me take that shawl and longsword as well. Great, so now we should be able to go there. It's more safe than come on slime. 
I wanna go there. There's another one of those. There we go. Engraved studded leather armor. Engraved means that it's engraved with a scene from the life of the ancient Sultan Kuladatis II. In 206, Kuladatis II appointed a corrupt administrator as minister of the Windows Makers Precinct of Tulep. He mandated the practice of contemplating the meaning of things in Kuladatis II's name. I completely agree with that. So now we actually got some information out of that and sometimes you get quests out of that and stuff like that. So let's, uh, let's equip it, why not? Um, here we go. Cool. And we don't need any of that. We don't need any of that bloody stuff. Yay, 50. Nice. So soon we'll have all the wire that we needed. As well as a lot of iron stuff. Crocassins. Yay. Uh, feet. Crocassins. I can look at them. A well-worn pair of leather boots. It gives us 100 reputation with unshelled repti reptiles. Because we wear stuff that looks like them, I guess. If you hold control, you can just... Um, you can stand where you are and attack something. Which you don't have to do, but sometimes you would otherwise switch positions with them. Or run through something. Are you neutral to me? You're hostile, but you're running away. Where are you shooting at? We're really bad at shooting. <laughs> wow, okay then. Here we go, we did our um, discharge and we are level 4 with 6 hit points, 100, uh, 1 mutation point and 74 skill points. That is good, but do we have enough? We have 200 now. Which is still not enough for dual wielding, I think. No, we need 300 for that. Um, so we wait with that. But we did get another mutation point. So we could do our arc again. So we do arc times 1d4. Or 8 times 1d4. That's nice. Maximum of 32 damage. More crocassins. Don't need those now. Alright, an iron mace, which is bloody. You can actually wash it away, which is pretty cool. Also, if you're on fire, you can just put water on yourself. Which I guess we'll have to do at some point, if we don't die before. Painted leather cap. Well, we can't wear it, because we have horns. Where is all the wire? Wire, wire, wire. Hey, another level down. Ooh, there's a pig following us. A slug snout, a massive muscular boar with an unnaturally long snout. The torpid slug snout can spit massive solid slug snout slugs <laughs> made out of the compacted undigestible sinew of their prey. Out of its slug snout snout. Wow. Um, yeah, he's shooting at me. But the hermit is attacking him. Great. Thank you, hermit. He's all bloody. Bloody scraps, glad hermit. All right, there's some more wire. Only three, though. We need 200. Oops. Those are annoying. Uh, these ones here, the eyeless crab, they tend to be fairly tough. And these spark ticks, well, this is also a tough one. Um, we have five charges, which killed the spark tick, but not the eyeless crab. So we can try to dismember it, which worked. Um, you chop off right pincer. Nice. So now he's getting damage from being uh, all bloody and stuff. Which is good, and we don't have that much damage ourselves yet. That actually worked. Awesome. So... Ooh, a lacquered hand axe. 
We also had an Olworm skull, but that's a helmet and we don't need those. There is a chest there. And we have a level. 3 hit points, 74 skill points and 1 mutation point. Still not enough. We need 4 more skill points for dual wielding, unfortunately. And, uh, well, then we could do the multiple arms for more damage. Or, well, we could also do this one for more damage and no extra AV. But at some point, I guess we do get extra AV. So let's um, let's take that one. Uh, no. What's in here? Ooh, a jewel-encrusted short bow. This item is much more valuable than usual and grants the wearer 100 reputation with the Water Barons. Well, let's take it. And let's take the Vine Waffers. And then... All right, I had to stop for a little bit because the kiddies needed attention, but now it is time to continue. So there is spark tick, more wire, and a lot of enemies. So we do have to be careful. I could charge this one. So that went well. Now we have that one. So we have how many eight charges, which injured it. So that's good. Um, and now we can hopefully kill it. Yes, we did. Oh, the kitty needs more attention. All right, we killed the crab, which is good. So we can take its legs if we want to. Um, 10 wire strand, that's good. Let's heal up a little bit as well. Take the iron short sword. And take some more wire. We have 200 feet of wire. Let us explore a little bit more first though. More wire. Let's see if there's something else interesting here. Cave spider. Critical hit, nice. Yeah, okay, so that kind of seems to be it. There doesn't seem to be much else that's interesting here. Oh, maybe here. Ooh, hello. Another eyeless crab. We dismembered it. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's heal up again. Ooh. All right, let's go the stairs down. Let's see what's here. More of this wire, apparently. Oh, I'm being feared away. Hmm. This I do not like. Luckily, I had a discharge because they get extra damage if they surround me, so... Spitters. There's a huge open area here. Ooh. Hulking baboon. It's easy and hostile. So let us kill it. I'm wondering if I should just go back. Because this looks quite dangerous here. There's feral dogs. More spitters. Yeah, let's go back and actually hand in that quest. Oh, I left some food over there. So if I press the up uh, up button, which in my case is minus, then it just walks uh, to the nearest stairs up. If you found it, of course. There we go. So now we are in the world map again, so we can go back, but we lost our bearings. So now we just have to explore our surroundings. Ooh, there's a chameleon there, which got killed by the Equimax, which is good because chameleons can be really painful. Thank you, Equimax. There's a turtle there. And other things. What are you? 
You're a caravan guard and the great soldback, a massive tortoise. The great soldback are the domesticated desert ship of the Dromad caravans. Ooh. Oh, someone is killing. Oh, there's a salt hopper here. So these guys here, they tend to be very difficult. They have rending mandibles, so they're kind of painful. So let us use this one. So we killed the snapjaw. Let's dismember the salt hopper. What did we dismember of it? We uh, chop off the tail. Well, that doesn't really help. But it uh, it's taking damage from bleeding, which is good. And we are now level six. Yay, we get extra hit points. And we now have enough points for dual wield. Which uh, increases the chance to attack with the offhand weapon. Um, so the flurry is activated. You make an attack with every hand, including extra hands granted by mutation or technology, which is pretty cool. And uh, your chance to strike with an offhand weapon increases to 35%, which is great. So we have 70 points left, which we won't use now. Um, but we also got a mutation point. We can also save up our mutations up to four and then we can get another mutation. Um, but for now, I think I'll just take, keep taking these. Um, ooh, here we got one extra armor value from uh, from our antlers, which is good. So now we have abilities. So now we have flurry as well, which we we'll put on two. So then we attack with all our arms. You know the location of a dromad caravan. Let's take the compound bow and the iron mace. Oh, I did not see that pig. Uh, well, let's flurry it. It's wounded. We can't do that yet. There, we killed it. Good. Let's see where the caravan is. Hello. You're not hostile, are you? Average. Impossible. You ask about your location and are no longer lost. What kind of creature are you? Well, you are a dromad, I know that. So, let's sell all this cool stuff. All this stuff, all this stuff. We got some food, but we want to keep it. We've got some torches. We've got a lot of iron stuff, which I don't really want to sell yet in case I go tinkering. Um, but we can sell all of this. Wire strand will keep, but this one here, the jewel encrusted short bow will sell. And the copper nugget. So let's see what you have. You've got Mm, no shotguns, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, trinkets, fine wrappers. You got shotgun shells, which is nice. Um, ring mail, chain mail, plate armor. Ooh, that's very expensive. Well, let's just do this. And then we have 103 water with us. And then we go back uh, in order to deliver the mission but i think we've been playing enough for now so i'll put the episode to a close and let's see you again next time